Hey everyone, we're taking a question from Muna, and Muna asks, can you provide any tips on how to address infertility when dating? Thanks Muna for writing in, thanks for your question and support. Um, I have a few tips, so I'm just going to go through them one by one, and hopefully I'll be able to help out a little bit. Um, the first little tip that I have is to wait for the right time to break the news, meaning this isn't the kind of thing that you're going to want to divulge on the first date, or even the second or third date for that matter, in my opinion. I feel like um, during the initial dating stages, it's really best to keep the conversation topics very casual. Now. Um, if you're in those early dating stages and you're bonding right away and you feel like this is the right time to talk about it, then go for it. But my point is um, when you guys are first getting to know each other, the only info that you have to share about yourself is what you're comfortable sharing. And anything beyond that isn't his business. Not until later on anyway. So. That brings me to my next piece of advice. When you do break the news, be casual. Um, try to resist the urge of getting into a long, dramatic conversation about your infertility. And I know that infertility is a dramatic subject, but we've got to kind of reserve that for our girlfriends. Um, I, I think that men can sometimes get intimidated um, when we come at them with the whole, we've got to talk type of thing. They don't like drama, so keep it casual, as casual as you can anyway. Um, thirdly, let your infertility be a test for the person you're dating, not a test for yourself. And I don't mean that in a judgmental way, but I'm saying this because I know that some women who are in the dating scene kind of struggle with the whole, gee, I hope I'm good enough for him mindset, and I just want to encourage you away from that mindset and instead try to have a hmm I hope he's good enough for me type of thinking if you're confident in yourself if you know that you're an awesome person then you're really under no test your infertility is going to be a test for the person you're dating um, okay fourthly and again reiterating uh, that it's important to wait until things are getting more serious, but find out how he feels about the path that you're planning to take. And I'll share a personal example. When Zach and I dated, and when we started getting serious and talking marriage, um, and keep in mind, during this time, neither one of us had any idea that we had infertility issues. But I knew that I wanted to adopt, and I knew that I was very passionate about that desire. So I shared it with Zach, and when I shared it with him, he agreed with me. Now, if Zach hadn't agreed, if he had said, oh no, I'm not a fan of adoption, I don't want to do that, then honestly, I don't know if I would have continued to date him because that's such an important thing to me. So you can only be with a man who's willing to go down those same paths that you are, the important paths anyway. Um, so applying this to you, let's say that your plan, and I don't know if this is your plan, but hypothetically, if you're planning on just stopping at nothing and getting as many fertility treatments as you need until you have your successful pregnancy that results in a live birth, okay, you've got to only invest in a man who's going to go down that same road with you. Um, okay, now my last piece of advice is except he isn't the one for you if he doesn't share in your vision. Um, you have a desire to find true love, but be smart. Don't continue to date a man in hopes that he'll one day see the light, in hopes that one day you're going to convince him to think of your infertility the way you want him to think of your infertility. Don't fall into that. Walk away don't look back. And I know that's really hard advice to take, but if he loves you, he's going to chase you. You deserve a, a man who is guts out, head over heels for you. And if the guy that you're dating is guts out, head over heels for you, then he's going to want to follow on your path. So I hope I helped you out, Muna, and I hope that I maybe helped out other people who are single and in the dating scene and know that they have infertility issues. 
Um, if you have any more questions or anyone else, please feel free to write in and let us know because we're here for you guys and we want to help you out. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Have a great day.